people of God. What up, what up? This is a YouTube exclusive. Just over here on my morning commute to work. Wanted to check in with you guys. Got a couple things to share and speak about. Give it a minute for y'all to jump on here. So, I'll just go ahead and get started because, you know, I can always edit this later. But, um, yeah, I just want to share a couple things. So, yesterday, a um, couple things happened, multiple things happened throughout the day. Um, God just reminded me of my purpose, things I need to get done. Um, you know, to help build his kingdom, you know, for his glory, things that I know he's called me to. And he sent me multiple reminders yesterday, um, people reaching out, you know, God showing me different things. And, you know, I just felt really just encouraged and strengthened and reminded. I felt like God was giving me personally all these reminders all day long, showing me things and just you know, when God does that, it gives you a boost of confidence. When you know God is behind you, when you know God got your back, when you know God's gonna breathe on these things that he's called you to do, it gives you so much confidence to just move forward in those things. And I was just like sky high yesterday, you know, as far as, you know, my purpose and doing these things. Hey, Malja, how you doing? Good to see you. So I'm just sharing about, um, you know, some things that happened yesterday um just renewing my purpose and just being strengthened in that comforted in that reminded in that by god i was actually talking to young a couple times yesterday and we were just encouraging each other and even that was like a, a divine appointment um and yeah just really taking like real tangible steps forward you know because i know god is kind of calling me into like new seasons right now and I'm in the process of that. And when you're in the process of things, there's always, you know, growing pains. There's always like going to be opposition, spiritual opposition. And, you know, trust me, I've been going through it. You know, I've been going through that. But there was a turning point I hit a couple weeks ago and things have been really good since then. Um, yesterday was really good. And then just this morning, like while I was sleeping, I got demonically attacked. Um, so sometimes I get these attacks where it's like someone in the dream turns demonic and then they actually like stab me with something. And I got stabbed right here in my lower uh, right back. And when they stab me, it's like this complete electrocution, you know, but I'm very familiar with this. I've been attacked in this way many times in my dreams. Um, but it's always, it's, it's not random. You know what I mean? It's not because I watch a scary movie or I ate tacos late or anything like that. You know, it's it's very intentional. It's an intentional attack. Um, you know, as I commit to moving forward in my purpose, as I'm getting excited, encouraged, that's when the spiritual attack comes. You know, so what was interesting, though, is usually when something like that happens, I have trouble in the dream, you know, rebuking it in Jesus name. I have trouble, um, you know, like, cause the demons will always muzzle your mouth and not allow you to speak. So, but I was just very freely just rebuking it immediately. And, you know, I rebuked it in Jesus name three times. And then I woke up and I continued to rebuke and I continued to pray. And it was just fervent. And I was just asking God like anything that the enemy had planned for me, anything that he injected in me by doing that, any of those things that God would frustrate and cancel and, and um, you know, foil those plans of the enemy. You know, I just declared God's purpose over my life for this day. And um, yeah, that was, that was that. And then I get in the car and I check my messages and one of my brothers just reached out to me and he said he was going through just like just incredible spiritual warfare and depression and all these things like suddenly all of a sudden you know he 
He's actually calling me right now. I gotta hit him back. But um, yeah, he sent me a verse from uh, First Peter four, and he was. I guess this was in the message this past Sunday, and. You know, it says, Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Some other translations say to test you. As though some strange thing happened to you. Okay, and he was saying, I feel like ever since I heard this verse, just, I started feeling so uh, troubled, you know. Um, yeah, Malja Brown on YouTube, she says, so many believers going through warfare. It's very true, but this is not something that we should be so troubled by or so hindered by or discouraged by. Like, to me, I woke up and I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's on now, you know? Now I understand that we are, like, on the right track. You know, that's how I felt. I felt emboldened. That was like a badge of honor that I went through, you know? Um, just the fact that the enemy cares enough to, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, try to come after me or discourage me. It's like, it tells me I'm on the right track. But this verse is so true. You know, in 1 Peter 4, verse 12, he says, Do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, which is to test you, as some strange thing happened to you. Like, we should expect this. This is part of the walk. This is part of the growth. You understand what I'm saying? Like, even Jesus himself in John 16, 33, one of my favorite Bible verses, you know, he says that, um, he's warned us ahead of time. He says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation or trouble. But he says to, um, you know, be joyful because he has overcome the world. You know what I mean? And, you know, Jesus told us these things in advance. That we're going to have trouble in this world. We're going to go through tri tribulation. We're going to have to deal with these difficulties, you know, but I always love the part at the end of um, Acts chapter five, you know, after some of the disciples get, you know, um, they get arrested, they get held, but then God supernaturally, you know, allows it for them to be released and then they get beat down. It says that they, they were beaten and they were commanded not to speak the name of Jesus Christ. But then as soon as they left jail, they start rejoicing. And it says that they were rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for Jesus's name. And then how did they respond to that? It says they continued to like without ceasing preaching the name of Jesus and preaching that Jesus is the Christ. You know, what I mean, that's that's at the end of Acts chapter five. So you guys should go read that if you if you need that encouragement. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to hit you guys with that encouragement this morning that, uh, look, if you're going through spiritual warfare, if you're getting attacked, I mean, it could happen spiritually and physically. Like, all of a sudden, I have, like, pain in my legs, you know? I still have that, you know, resonating pain in my back from the, the electrical attack from the, <laughs> the demon in my dream, you know? And, um... I, but I, I walk around like, you know, like a badge of honor. I feel like I'm a soldier right now. I'm like, you know, I just got enlisted again. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel. It's just like nobody goes into war. Nobody goes into battle thinking they're going to come out, you know, without any aches and pains or scars, you know? So if you're in the fight, it's, it's just part of it. It's par for the course. It lets you know that you're in the battle. You know, I'd much rather be in the battle with God, knowing God has my back, than to just be on the sidelines, being passive, being lukewarm. You know? The devil doesn't bother with people that aren't a threat to him. The devil doesn't bother with those who aren't doing anything for the kingdom. The devil, devil doesn't bother with people who God hasn't anointed, who God hasn't appointed. Who God, you know, doesn't have a purpose for. The devil doesn't bother with those people. Because they're, they're doing fine just on their own. The devil doesn't want to ruffle any feathers. He wants to keep them right where they're at. You know? But the people who are filled with purpose. 
the people who God's hand is upon, the people who God wants to use mightily as his instruments, right? Those are the people that the enemy is going to target and he's going to come at you and he's going to be relentless. But when he's coming at you relentless, you know, God is allowing that, just like it says in 1 Peter 4.12. You know, don't consider it strange that you're going through this fiery trial because the word says that that's God's way of trying you or testing you. You know, when things need to be refined, you burn it to burn away all the impurities, all the excess things that don't need to be there. So that what you're left with is just the purest, the purest parts of it. You know, so if you're going through that fiery trial right now, just understand God is refining you. He's he's allowing it. He's trying you and testing you to strengthen you, to just sharpen you. You know, this is this is. This is God just, you know, sitting there sharpening his sword. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oiling up his weaponry. You know, that's what's going on right now. And like Maul just said earlier, um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that have been going through, you know, spiritual warfare. And like all the people that I know that have been going through it like that, it's like, ain't no like regular Sunday Christians. It's like, prayer warriors intercessors you know prophets people with these prophetic giftings and anointings that's why i see going through it you know what i mean yeah maul just says i've been a huge threat to the enemy i know you carry you carry that you know spiritual weight with you i know you do you know the enemy been trying to put you through the ringer and you stay in that prayer closet you stay praising and worshiping and declaring the scriptures over the situation, declaring God's hand over the situation. I know you do that. You know, that's why he comes at you so hard. But understand that that is being allowed by God to try you and test you, refine you, strengthen you. You're going to come out shining. You know what I mean? So that's not me saying that. That's the word of God saying that. Yeah, Katsuki says, thank you for this today. I needed it and I'm heading to school. Yeah, it's a good idea. Just pray over your day ahead of time. Like as soon as I woke up from that, I just started declaring God over my whole day. I asked God to go before me to undo every trap of the enemy, to just completely direct and guide my life today. You know, sometimes we forget this. Like God exists outside of time. You know what I mean? Like, he already knows the day ahead of you. And if you walk in his purpose, he's going to guide you the right way. He's going to lead you to the right places, the right people, the right opportunities. And you know what's crazy is yesterday morning, I was in prayer. And you know, like, I just, I just want to mention this. Like, it's it's been like such a battle for me to pray in the mornings lately. I mean, for For a little while now, actually, you know, like. There's always things come up. I get distracted. A lot of noise. Just something spiritually just kind of like holding me down. Like this this weight, you know. But, you know, ever since I kind of had that breakthrough a couple weeks ago, it's like it's been getting easier. You know, like that weight started getting lifted. And um, it's been a blessing. And even my brother Young, you know, a couple weeks ago we were having a conversation. And, you know, he just said, look, there's, you know, he's, he's doing really well on YouTube right now. He's starting to grow and he's starting to realize, oh, that's that's actually where God wants me, like positioned. And he's doing really well with that. And he's been encouraging me. He's just like, Dan, I know you're supposed to be doing this. I know you were made for this. I know, you know, that um, this is what God is calling you to right now. And I know it, too, because, you know, that's that's exactly what God's been speaking to me. And he was just sharing how, you know, even he's been super consistent and showing up and doing everything he's supposed to be doing. And um, he was just saying how how there's so many times that he's just going through the spiritual warfare where he just doesn't feel like doing it. And he just doesn't want to, you know, show up sometimes. But like because he made this commitment to God, he's like, that's the only thing that's like keeping him going, you know, sometimes, you know, and that's what we got to do. You know, we got to be soldiers. We got to 
push through those times when we don't feel like it because a lot of times the reason why we don't feel like it is because there's some spiritual warfare going on the enemy is putting up all these blockades and you know obstacles and messing with our minds to demotivate us you know to discourage us so we got to understand that going in that that's that's what's going to happen not consider that strange and just push through even when we don't feel like it that's the problem with most people you know and i'm including myself in that is we're slaves to our feelings we're slaves to how we feel in the moment we gotta learn how to go beyond that push through that you know maybe you're going through that right now maybe you know god is calling you to certain things or maybe you woke up with a certain intention and then one thing goes left in the morning and all of a sudden you're discouraged all that you know all that motivation just gets sucked out of you and you sit on the sidelines all day you know maybe that's going through you right now so you know when that happens just you know it's almost like the devil push you down but i want you to stand back up look him in his face declare the name of jesus declare jesus over your life move forward with boldness pray for the holy spirit to fill you and just like they did in the end of acts 5 just rejoice that you were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name you know what i mean and follow their example they just continued to going out and preach the name of jesus without ceasing you know so Wow, yeah, Malja Brown says that so many people, so many lives have been touched around the world by uh, my brother Young. If you if you don't know Young, go follow my brother Young Lee. Uh, his YouTube, I believe, is Y Keys Worship. Y Keys Worship. Go check it out. But he had this one video called Gratitude that blew up, and there's people all around the world that have been touched by his video. Malja Brown said people in the comments have been sharing testimonies about how they were about to commit suicide. And God just put that video in front of them and it, it changed something in them and saved them. You know, saved the course of, you know, the direction of their lives. And that's that kind of ties back to what I was talking about earlier this week on my Instagram is, look, you got to just step out sometimes. You got to just, you know, sometimes people wait until like, I want to wait until I'm in the right place. I've been going through a lot. I don't want to, you know share with people or be you know you know trying to tell people about god and things like that when i'm in such a bad place when i'm struggling when i'm going through it you know but you know to tell you the truth like a lot of times that's when god can use you the most effectively is when you're going through it yourself because you're going to speak to the same people that are going through the same thing you are you know what i mean katsuki says i try to remember bible verses but i can't yeah, I mean, a lot of people have trouble with that. I would just say, don't overwhelm yourself. Just a per, if a particular verse stands out to you, just commit yourself to memorizing that one verse and memorize the address. Like for me, I love John 16, 33, you know, just like memorize that, that verse. Just go over it over and over and over. Commit a whole day to it. Wake up the next morning and see if you still know it, you know, and just work on that, you know, because we got to lock those Bible verses in our heart. You know, it's very important to do that. You don't have to do it verbatim necessarily. You know, because obviously there's different translations and things like that. But um, it is important to, you know, lock those things in your heart. Because those are like tools and weapons that you can store away. And then anytime you go through the spiritual warfare, you know, you're able to draw upon those weapons. Because there's going to be a lot of times where... You're going through something and you kind of forget, you know, you forget about God in certain moments, you know, and the enemy can really overwhelm you during those times. And the enemy always waits for an opportune time. He even did that to Jesus. If he did that to Jesus, you don't think he's going to do it to you. You know what I mean? So um, anyways, look, I just got here to work, so I got to hop off. Sorry for being abrupt, but thank you for those of you who, you know, jumped on here. Love you guys. Bless you guys. Katsuki, make sure you follow if um you're not following already we do do a, a bible study 
every Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're available, definitely come join us. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these lives. I got some exciting things planned coming up and I'm really committed to this now because you know I see the enemy is trying to stop it. So if he's trying to stop something, I'm trying to go with it. You know what I mean, so love you guys so much. Malja, thank you so much. Erica, so much. God bless you. Um, yeah, I'm glad it encouraged you and I'll, I'll catch up with you guys soon, all right? God bless.